You know, I have to confess something here. Is I've always admired the passion of TNA fans and TNA defenders. I wish when it came to today's professional wrestling business, I could be that passionate about something involving the business. I wish I could care that much. I wish I could be that emotionally invested. I just can't be. So the fact that in the face of all logic suggesting you should do otherwise, in spite of the facts that are clearly staring you in the face about the reality of what TNA is, what they've become, and where they're going, you still stand behind the product, you still believe in the company, you still support the company, and my figurative hat's off to you. Because it's got to be tough to be a TNA fan. Because for years you've had to listen to the WWE elitists talk about how stupid your fucking company is. You've had to talk, listen to the independent fans that sit there and talk about the superiority of their crappy indie feds and how inferior TNA is to them. It's like TNA never could get over. It never had a chance at the end of the day. It was never going to be WWE. It was never going to be WCW or ECW. So therefore it instantly makes us a failure, which is sad. Um, but it was also never going to be a full-fledged indie fed, so as a result, that instantly, in some people's eyes, made it a fucking failure, too. It was gotta be tough. And you've been sitting there trying to fight the good fight for years, you've been trying to defend the company, uh, stand up for what you believe in, stand up for who you believe in, and the product you believe in, and the company you believe in, even when maybe you shouldn't believe in it, and maybe you really don't believe in it, but you want to believe in it. Yeah, it's tough, and I feel bad for you. I really feel bad for TNA fans. I legitimately do. Because, above all else, I feel like TNA fans are supporting a company that frankly doesn't deserve to be supported. And I feel like, from the outside now looking in, having stopped following the TNA product on a consistent basis, stopping watching the shows every single week like I used to do and I no longer do, you know, now that I've got myself a little bit removed from the process, I can see that this is a company that doesn't care, that's too caught up in its own bullshit to realize just how bad they are, that is too stupid to ever fix anything and make anything better, and at the end of the day, at the same point in time, has this unwarranted, unmerited superiority complex to their fans where they look down upon their fans and frankly should be happy that anybody actually continues to watch their shit. Simple fact of the matter. So TNA fans get it from all over the place, and sometimes it's self-inflicted, and sometimes it's deservably so. I mean, over the years when I've done TNA videos and I've seen TNA posts and different social media, different websites, you know, seeing the actions of certain blocks of TNA fans, you know, y'all deserve some of the shit that you get because you do say some ridiculously dumb shit, similar to how an ROH fan base does, a New Japan fan base does, an independent fan base does, then most certainly the WWE fan base does. I mean, I've seen so much stupid shit said about professional wrestling over the years. I don't know which fan base says the most ridiculously idiotic, dumb dick, off the wall shit. Um, I probably would side with the WWE side, and the simple reason being is because just the larger scale of the fan base. I mean, there's more potential for stupid crap to be said, and there most certainly is. Now, in terms of a per capita, uh, you know, if it's not ROH fans, it's probably got to be TNA fans in terms of per capita who has the most stupid shit that they say. But, you know, all the wrestling fan bases have that stupid shit to say, and frankly, it's a reflection of the business and the stupidity of the business and all those companies. You think wrestling fans say stupid shit. Look at the product that these different companies put out on a week-in, week-out basis and the people involved with these companies and the things that they say week-in and week-out. I mean, there's a lot of stupidity when it comes to professional wrestling. So you get it from all sides if you're a TNA fan. You get it from the wrestling business itself because TNA looks down upon you and other companies look down upon you. Other fans look down upon you from other companies. I mean, it's just like you can't win for trying. You just can't win for trying. But ultimately, you stick with it. You stand behind TNA. You know, when Hogan and Bischoff come in, even though you know where it's going to go, you're still hopeful. You're like, man, this could maybe bring some new exposure to the company. This could help them to take them to a whole different level, brother. Uh, and then you see the reality that isn't. And you see 10, 10, 10. They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! Who's coming? And then you see a mortal and all oh, fortune and the 
Fortune Mortal Faction and all this other dumb shit over the years. Aces and eights and oh my God, make the bleeding stop. But yet you'll stand with them and you stick with them and you support them nonetheless. And I think what's happened is after a certain period of time, as TNA fans have now tried to latch on to TNA being their only hope, even though they know there's no real hope whatsoever. TNA is never going to be WWE. And frankly, looking at today's WWE, who the hell would want to be WWE other than from a maybe actual cash on hand in the bank account standpoint? Because their product is absolutely atrocious. Probably the worst of any professional wrestling company. I said it, the worst of any professional wrestling company. Because they have so many more resources that they can put into something, and that's the crap that they put out by far. I know I'll say it by far. The worst product out there today in professional wrestling is the WWE, and it isn't close. And if you don't think so, you can eat shit, because that's a fact. Simple fact. It's the worst. God-awful worst. If you convince yourself that WWE's product is any fucking good, you're a moron. Or you're living in a delusional bubble because you want to continue to justify why you still support the product and why you still invest three hours into watching Raw every week and watching every pay-per-view every month on the WWE Network. Well, similarly, I think TNA fans have started to isolate themselves in kind of a delusional bullshit type of bubble. Because no matter how much facts and logic start to scream at you and stare you in the face and bear down upon you, you still refuse to believe them. Like when the report started to come out about Spike TV was getting ready to drop TNA. They were getting ready to drop Impact Wrestling. Oh no, this is anti-TNA sentiments in the IWC. This is a Dave Meltzer conspiracy and we're not going to have it. We will not believe it. And then, of course, conveniently, once Spike TV announced indeed that they were dropping the hammer, there was going to be no more Impact Wrestling. It was just on to Destination America. Destination America is going to be this great, wonderful new platform and opportunity for TNA, even though so many fewer people are actually going to watch the product in a week-in, week-out basis. This was somehow going to be a good thing for the company. It was going to be the start of a new phase, of a new chapter, a new era for TNA and Impact Wrestling. How many times have we heard this shit over the years, and it ultimately ends up being the same freaking thing? But yet TNA fans stand with them. TNA fans stand behind the company. They still go out of their way to support it. They still go out of their way to mark out for it, defend it, you know, blast other companies, try to extol the virtues of TNA. So then you get Destination America, and then the reports come out during the summer from Dave Meltzer, most notably, that Destination America is going to get out of the TNA business and they're going to drop them come September. So, of course, TNA fans believe it's another anti-TNA Dave Meltzer conspiracy. A Latin Nazi Jew is trying to undermine this great professional wrestling company. There is no way, and God means no way, that Destination America would even dream of dropping Impact Wrestling. No way. Just no way. And then, of course, it didn't happen in September. And it was going to be like a great victory for TNA fans. Yes, we were right. We proved the anti-TNA conspiracy was true. Dave Meltzer did it. He's the mastermind behind all things evil and professional wrestling in the world. He's responsible for them being off of Spike TV. It's all his fault. All this slander about Destination America dropping TNA. Dixie was right, she was going to sue it, exactly, except you didn't hear about it anymore because you had to know at this point in time, deep down in your hearts, that it was fucking true. And while the hammer didn't get dropped in September, it still was going to get dropped, you had to know it, and ultimately it was. And while y'all tried to claim some victory about the whole thing of, and you bought into idiots like Vince Russo who doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, well, your Destination America is bringing in Ring of Honor. That's good for wrestling. That's good for both companies. Well, as I said at the time, if anything, it was good for Ring of Honor. And it was a low-risk, potentially high-reward move for Ring of Honor. But long-term, it didn't necessarily mean anything. It most certainly didn't mean anything good for TNA. Again, logic staring you right in the fucking face. And you refuse to buy it. You refuse to accept it. And i got to admire that courage. I really, really do. It's like every time there's a mass shooting in this country and people start the ridiculousness of the gun control debate and they focus on certain elements without looking at the entirety of the issue and the complexities and the totality of the issue 
and how many different facets and layers there are to actually solving any real issues, all that happens is every time the gun control debate gets artificially manufactured, focused on certain elements, and all of a sudden, magically, what happens? NRA memberships escalate. They go up. Gun sales go up. So every time something like this happens, you know, once you are okay with a bunch of kids getting shot dead, you know, anything goes in this fucking country. But we foster the same type of debates that only produces two results, and they're good for the gun lobbies, gun manufacturers, and the NRA. And yet we don't see a fucking problem with this. I mean, it kind of speaks to the general stupidity of this country as a whole. So it's not a surprise that it reflects in our fan bases. It's like the people that insist that John Cena is some great money-drawing star for the WWE, which is complete and total ridiculousness. He is a prop and nothing more. The WWE name in S.H.I.E.L.D. draws today, not any of the individual talents, and that's just the God's honest truth. So when we look at TNA, it wasn't some big freaking Meltzer anti-TNA conspiracy. It's the fact that Destination America was having trouble selling advertising on their shitty-ass fucking network. They didn't know what the hell they're doing, as reflected by the fact that now Destination America is getting out of any type of real-world business. They're going to become a paranormal channel. Oh, boy! You would think Destination America would be some type of travel channel ripoff. They can't even fucking get that right. Now they're going to be paranormal shit 24-7. I mean, that's what we're dealing with here. But of course, now that TNA has lost their deal with Destination America and now they've got onto Poop or Pop TV or whatever the fuck it is, now TNA fans are trying to spin that as some top of positive thing. Talking about, oh, they've still got a TV deal. Yeah, they have, but if they're not really making any fucking money off of it and nobody gets the network, even though they'll try to throw out their artificial bullshit figures that all these people get this network, even though that's misleading, just like it was for Destination America, potential households that have it versus actualized real households that have it are two entirely different things. The TNA fans continue to defend, and they continue to fight for this company. And I just ask why. Why do you do this to yourselves anymore? Why support a company that clearly doesn't like you? Why continue to support a company that frankly doesn't seem to clearly like themselves? Why continue to support a company that time after time makes the same mistakes and refuses to acknowledge the mistakes and refuses to do anything differently to learn from those mistakes, move on from those mistakes, and actually grow and improve their product and their brand? I mean, I'm not even getting into all the product crap in terms of what they do on screen from a product presentation, booking, creative writing standpoint. I'm not even talking about any of that shit. I mean, this is a company that after all these years, they still can't effectively market and promote themselves. They still have never produced one major big star. They still haven't figured out a better way to become more socially, social media interactive, more fan interactive, and get some of the fans. You know, all these different things that I've talked about before. You know, I feel bad for TNA fans because you're sitting there supporting this dying brand. Uh, is it going to die anytime soon? Nah, who knows? Who cares? I mean, it's on Pop TV. In the course of a year plus, it went from Spike TV to Destination America to Pop TV. You know, warning signs are there. The indicators are there. This is a sinking ship. Now, is it just heaping all types of water upon itself? Maybe, maybe not. Is it kind of keeping afloat? Maybe is it a company that can continue to survive at a certain level. That's probably what it is. It can continue to survive at a certain level. It's never going to thrive. And I feel really bad for you because for years you've wanted an alternative to the WWE. For years you wanted something that you could feel passionate and emotionally invested in like you once did for a WWF, a WCW, an ECW, a combination of all those companies, maybe. And instead you get some of the shittiest WWE wrestling that I've ever seen. Stupid-ass ROH and the stupid-ass things that they still do. And you've got sorry-ass TNA. It's like when it comes to major North American professional wrestling, you have no hope. You want to believe it's different. And you won't acknowledge the truth. I understand. You're not ready to give up on that portion of your life. But at some point in time, don't you have to be honest with yourself and say TNA is a stupid company and their product's pretty fucking stupid too? I mean, imagine a few years from now you're going to look back when you finally do decide to stop watching TNA and at some point you will. You'll look at all the time you invested in the company and you're going to look back and say, why did I bother? Or why did I waste so many years on it? 
And I speak from experience because that's what I've done. Now that I'm removed from it, I sit there and look at myself and say, why did I ever bother with this company to begin with? And how could I sit there and waste so many years on this inferior product? Why did I waste so much time on this crappy brand? So I feel bad for you because deep down, TNA fans, you know the truth. You know it. And you just don't have the courage to accept it. I just hope at some point in time, you have the courage to figure it out, accept it, and move on from that company and their product before it's too late and before it really becomes depressing. It should already be depressing. I mean, they're freaking pop TV now. Who gives a shit about them? I mean, it's sad. TNA as a company has nobody to blame but them fucking selves at the end of the day. And shame on them for allowing themselves to become the shell of an organization that they've become. And, again, I just feel bad for you TNA fans that still continue to go along for the ride.